independent solutions are concerned, your two linearly independent solutions go with the fact that you have two unknown constants. So what we're going to do is we're going to group them together. So all of the terms that contain a c sub 0, we're going to group them all together. The first term contained a c sub 0. That gave us a 1 if we factor it out. Then we'll have minus 8 thirds x squared. And we also had one right here, plus 8 ninths x to the fourth. And then there was nothing else that had a c sub 0 after that. And we'll also group together everything that had a c sub 1 in it for our second linearly independent solution. So we had a c1 times x, we had a c1 times minus 1 half x cubed, we had a c1 times 1 1 20th x to the fifth, uh, we had one back here that was minus 1 over 3 times 7 factorial x to the seventh, and then we'll throw on the old mathematical dot 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 after that. So these would be your two linearly independent power series solutions of the original differential equation. Very frequently what happens is you find this guy, you refer to this as y1, you find this guy, you refer to it as y2, and then you give your general solution as y is equal to uh, c0y1 plus c1y2, or you could call it c1y1 and c2y2 for consistency's sake, or you know, whatever. You're, uh, you're all grown men and women. You do what you want. All right, hopefully this technique you found useful, and hopefully we'll see some more videos in the future. Peace out.